Hello and welcome back. Today I've been going through acres of sketchbooks looking for people standing up. After a search, I have got people. I've tried to draw these people that they've all got their waists at a similar height in this cluster here. I've got all their feet level, but you can see that they are all different proportions. This man's got very long legs and he's very thin. The gardener's very muscular. These two, it's difficult to tell because they've got big puffer jackets on. And the Spanish dancers have got frills and things everywhere, so it's a job to see. The young girls at the beach have got slightly different proportions. They're still growing. And you've got the older men here having a chat that the halfway point of them is about the hips so you've got to decide how to tackle your model now to make the skin color of the particular models i had access to got quite fair skin i'm using naples yellow and azillion crimson together and I'll start with the young lady in the fishing net. Just do some wavy lines for her legs and her arms. It's important to get bend at the wrist and her, her elbow. And her back, she's very young, she's got a very straight back. And change the colour slightly for her friend. Just adding a bit of raw sienna and burnt sienna to naples yellow and azillion crimson you can do a lot to give somebody slightly warmer skin tone now th these are the models i had access to so i haven't got all nationalities so you can see they're now standing out more with the shapes you've got the more elderly man with darker baggier clothes clothes do change every year you find that the fashion's changed. Now his trousers are such that they only seem to touch at the belt. Let's put in a vague suggestion of his hands, but there is a slight bend at the knee, the way he's standing. And they're narrowing down to his ankles and his feet aren't parallel. I was a bit shorter model, so we got the same chap different time of year in much lighter trousers and he's got his legs apart this time so just put in the trousers and you can see that he's balanced and what you've got to try and do when you're drawing people is to make sure they're balanced now this chap's bending over but he's still balanced so what i can do is put he's quite tan so we just warm up some of the colors a bit i'll add some indian yellow this time and a little bit more azillion crimson the happy garden has been out all summer and he's got a very small cap on so it looks like he hasn't got much of a head, but he's very muscular. My dear friend, John, I think you got this jacket cheap. It doesn't seem to be tailor made to fit him. It looks enormous. He's actually not very big, but it's just the way the jacket is at the moment, I think. Go around his wife. He enjoys motor racing, so I think this was jacket must have been good value and he could wear another jacket underneath it because it certainly doesn't look his size. But when you're painting, you find all shapes and sizes. And if you want to make them a bit thinner, you can go inside your pencil lines or make it a darker colour. If you made it bright red, he'd look even bigger. So I'm just going to stick some paint on this chap. And this one's having a real 
debate with him. Not much of his face showing. So we'll let those dry a moment. I can come back to them. So the next thing to do is some hair. And hair is very selective, but you don't necessarily want everything in your picture to be the same. So you want a warm brown if you've got a cool background or if older people have gone a bit grey, you don't want to leave the white paper showing. But this lady has got very bold hair. If hair's dyed, it does stand out a lot more in a photograph or in certain lighting conditions. So this chap just put a little bit on the top, put it more down the sides. And to show that he's got a high forehead, just push the paint back a bit. Now the gardener is in jeans, so I'm going to mix some Payne's Grey and French Ultramarine together and do his jeans. You can see that he's still balanced even though he's leaning over. He's putting all his weight on his left foot. And he's also got the tool in his hands, which he could be leaning on slightly. Now, these two couples are sort of holding each other up, but these two that are having a debate. I'm just going to mix some Naples yellow with the grey. But this man is balancing himself during a debate by putting his arms out backwards. But it doesn't matter because he's balanced. And he's got an anorak with a drawstring around the waist. So his waist goes in a little bit. It's had a moment to dry now. So I could just put a little bit more definition on the gardener. And he's a very hot gardener. You can just see some of his face. And the front of his jeans are absolutely plastered in soil. So they're not the same colour. Almost looks like he's wearing an apron. And the Spanish dancers look like we've got two generations because one's very thin and the next one's not quite so thin. I'll move on to some darker hair. While I'm waiting for bits to dry. Some people have got long hair so the best thing to do is go down the sides first and then move the paint. Just put it on with a little wave in it. Now the, the trader is wrapped up for a cold day got a scarf on so there's a hint of red coming out and that affects the value of his skin tone quite a lot so we'll stick that in for now and then he's got a beige coat so I might as well use the skin color that I've got mixed up and use that as his beige coat He went to the same shop and bought the same green cord, so look of it. Cold weather gear. And this one's got brown cords. And just make a dark mark when I can, when it's dry, in between his trousers. Can't quite do it at the moment, it's all a bit wet. But you can see that if you put a line through the middle of him, that he's leaning back a bit, but he's balanced himself. This one's got his feet apart to balance himself. This one's a bit of an athlete anyway, I think. 
So what you have to do is just keep looking and find out how your models are positioned. Now, this young lady's got a very bold purple costume. And again, that will affect her skin tone. I'm using a brush that's a little big here. You can go back with a flat brush and just trim it back a bit. Now, the Spanish dancers. I just stood by the bar and sketched them. Took my life in my hands because the barman thought that it might be an idea. But I sketched him and so he kept sort of getting closer and closer and closer and I was he was blocking my view. And I didn't have the language skills to say anything. The joys of painting abroad. So I'm going to use two colours on the black suit. It's joined at the waist. Go round his hand. And he's got shoulder straps. Sort of a very tight waistcoat, really. Let's get a smaller brush. You can't really see his waist at all. So all I can do is put a line in and then do some lines up from it and lines down just to show there's a change. And it's not every day that you draw somebody in a little hat like this. I've got to let that dry before I trim it up. Try and do the curve. Now the lady has got sort of pink with lots of white and lots of dots. So I think we miss out some of the dots and just put the colour in because it's a shape of her that we're interested in. I'm starting at the bottom and if people are inclined to dance, so if they're standing for you, they'll have one foot forward. Her feet are pointed underneath this just. This lady's got her toe pointing out. They're used to striking a pose. i use a bigger brush for that. She's got very, very thin waist. But the lady on the right looks a generation older and she's got a slightly bigger waist. And I've got all these lovely frills, real dancing outfit. When I drew them, I was absolutely amazed how thin their arms were. And because the collar goes up slightly, it gives a different attitude to her neck. But the lady that's a bit larger, I'm going to do the lines going down. As though she's got slight pleats in the outfit.
and then it's even more gathered in at the bottom obviously flicks out nicely when she dances I'll just put some lines through and there's more layers than I can easily count at the top so you've got frills everywhere but a different neckline she's got more of a plunging neck well, we've got another person in jeans And shirt out. That's the, the fashion some summers. Uh, the man has got a dark earthy red shirt on. So I'm going to mix some Zillion Crimson with Indian Red. Or Venetian Red. Whichever one you've got. I just put it in as a bolder colour and the way he's standing his arms perfectly straight but the clothes are slightly bent now the man in the market's got white hair so what I can do is put a different colour behind him which is a good way of, of dealing with somebody who's slightly older don't do the hair do the gap and just drop some blue in and the same with the little girl that you can and the gardener Just drop some soil in around the gardener. He's digging it all up. He's got it all over his trousers. It just sort of anchors him. Stick a couple of roses in or whatever he's got there. And the little girl who's at the seaside, what we can do is just put some water in around her. That will bring her forward. And if I want to do a smaller area, I just put the brush more on its point. And take the colour away from the person. If you've got too much in a strong area, just pick it up and move it. Add a little bit of water. And that's warmed up the colour of her skin tone nicely. So I think you probably get the idea of it now. That you've got to make sure that they're not about to topple over unless you're doing a cartoon. And look out for highlights. So this got a very dark hat on. And he's got a red scarf, which now it's dried, I can put a second layer on and make it a bit more bright. And the lady, you haven't given her a coat yet, I'll give her a blue one. Take her 
arm down past his hand. And you can see this, even though you can't see her arm, this shape in the garment. Well, I hope that's been useful to you and that uh, you'll try putting people in your paintings quite soon. But if you're in any doubt, try and put them further away or looking the other way. Don't get too tangled in full frontal faces. Work up to that. I've just added a few more details just to finish some of them off. I haven't put all the footwear in. It's a very personal thing, footwear. But the safety boots are much lighter at the bottom than they are at the top. They're probably where the mud falls off the trousers. But I hope this is helpful to you and you'll try practicing people yourselves. Thank you for watching.